Hi friends, welcome to Sunil Engineering Academy. I am Sunil. Some students asked that, Sir, how to access your total playlist? Sir, how to access your Unacademy courses? I will tell you. For this, just open YouTube channel and type our Academy name, Sunil Engineering Academy. Okay. You will find our Academy. Click on Sunil Engineering Academy underscore C. Then here this is the home page of Engineering Academy. And here you will find this playlist. Click on this playlist. Then you will find all the playlist of our videos. That is RRBJE Biology, RRBJE Chemistry and Physics and Reasoning and also mathematics okay and click on the playlist then you will access all the videos okay and open any of the video here you will find the description box this is the description box that is published on february 25th 2019 and to get rrb physics and biology pdf this is the description box click on the show more button then you will find the link of an academy. In this link, it is https anacademy dot user Sunil Bujji two not five. Click on this link. Then you will go to the an academy site and you will find all the courses. This is the here you will get two courses. First one. Physics most important bits topic wise and another course CBT2 crash course for triple ER ECE and common subject. Here just click on this physics most important bits and you will find all the videos. Hi friends, welcome to Anacademy. I am Sunil. In this course, I am going to discuss physics very very important bits topic wise. In this class, I am taking the topic solar system solar system okay let us take the first bit that is light year is the unit of dash the light year is the unit of astronomical distance friends astronomical distance friends so here the light year is the unit of distance that is the distance light travels in one year okay here you will get all the videos that is third class, third lesson, fourth lesson, fifth lesson, sixth lesson. In this way, you will get all the lessons. Okay. In chemistry, we have already completed three topics. Atomic structure, fuels and combustion, acids, bases and salts. Now, the next topic is metals and their compounds. First of all, what are the metals? We know very well about these metals. Metals are very hard. Hard, that is solid in nature. And they are ductile. Ductile means we can form into the wires. And they are good conductors of heat. Good conductors of heat. And also good conductors of electricity. Good conductors of heat and electricity. For example, example if you take iron, copper, aluminium, magnesium, sodium, lead, zinc, calcium, all are metals. And here, all the metals except mercury, except mercury, except mercury. All the metals are in solid nature at room temperature. If you take at room temperature, all these metals are solid, but the mercury is not solid. Okay. And the next coming to the properties of these metals. Properties. Okay. First one, reaction with oxygen. That means if you take the, these metals, when they combines with oxygen, 
oxygen then metal oxide forms metal oxide forms for example take one metal any metal if you take copper and it will react with oxygen then it will release metal oxide that is copper oxide copper oxide if you balance this equation we have two oxygen so kept it two here then two cu so two cu so we get copper oxide that means if the metals reacts with oxygen they will give metal oxides for example if you take aluminum also aluminum if it reacts with oxygen then metal oxide will produce that means aluminum oxide that is aluminum oxide is chemical name there is a chemical formula al2o3 and balance the equation here two aluminiums and here three oxygen three oxygen means uh, we have to put here three then six means where if you get two then two into three that is six oxygens here six six this two o three means so we get uh, six oxygens so here balanced and here two al two that means four al so kept four so chemical equation is balanced so we get aluminium oxide aluminium oxide okay the key point is if the metal reacts with oxygen it will give the metal oxide okay the next property i have already told in acids and bases class metal oxides are basic in nature metal oxides are basic in nature basic in nature when they react with acids it will give salt and water okay so that's why they are basic in nature but there is a some exceptions in this some metal oxides such as aluminum oxide aluminum oxide and zinc oxide zno2 these two oxides show both acidic and also basic nature both acidic and basic nature actually almost all the metal oxides are basic in nature but some metal oxide that is aluminum oxide and zinc oxide shows both acidic and also basic behavior okay and the next one if the reaction with water that is metals reaction with water if the metals are combined with water then metal oxide is produced metal oxide plus hydrogen gas will be produced if this metal oxide again with water metal oxide combines against with water then we will get metal hydroxide metal hydroxide okay so if whenever these metals reacts with water we will get metal hydroxide okay and next one next property metals like potassium sodium reacts violently with reacts very very important reacts violently violently with cold water with cold water why because whenever they reacts with cold water for example with cold water then they will produce their hydroxides and also hydrogen gas plus heat energy plus heat energy if you balance this equation koh here 2h okay and 1h remaining so we get 2 here and if we get 2 2 then chemical equation is balanced okay here the hydrogen and heat energy produced at the same time that means it may chance to immediate fire it may chance immediate fire so that's why these potassium and sodium reacts with cold water violently so don't add these to cold water okay and for example if you take sodium that is sodium plus water that is cold water take sodium hydroxide their hydroxide plus h2 plus heat energy 
heat energy. If you balance this equation for this uh, in your OH and H2, if you kept 2 here, 2 in A, this means uh, here also 2, 2 in A plus here 2 in A, same match and if you H2 means here we have to keep to H2, then we get the equation is balanced. And the next one, magnesium does not react with cold water. Magnesium does not react with cold water. It reacts with only hot water. Only hot water. And if you take the aluminium, iron and zinc, they do not react with water. They do not react with water. React with water. But they react with steam. But they react with steam. And forms metal oxide, metal oxide and hydrogen gas. Metal oxide and hydrogen gas. And the next one, very, very important one, reactivity series. Reactivity series. If we arrange in the order of their decreasing activities, their decreasing activities, that is reacting activities. First, very, the first one is potassium and then sodium. That means, the potassium is highly reactive component. Potassium is highly reactive component. After this, sodium. After this, calcium. After this, magnesium. After this, aluminium. So, potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium, aluminium. Aluminium after this, uh, zinc and iron. After this, lead. After this, copper. After this uh, H that is mercury and after this silver that is AZ, after silver gold, gold it is silver and it is gold and these two are under metals of low reactivity, metals of low reactivity and here this Potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium, and aluminium are metals of high reactivity. High reactivity. The remaining are medium reactivity metals. Medium reactivity metals. Okay. Based on this decreasing order and this reactive series, then we can extract the metals that is extracting metals from their ores. If you take any concentration of these ores, concentration of ore, from this we can extract these metals in different way for high reactivity materials. For high reactivity materials that is this potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium for this we use electrolysis process electrolysis process by this process we get pure metals okay for in case of medium retentivity medium retentivity materials sorry medium retentivity metals for this we use two methods that is for in case of carbonated ore in case of carbonated ore and in case of sulfide ore sulfide ore it is in the form of carbonated ore or sulfide ore in case of this carbonated ore we use the process calcination calcination in case of sulfide ore we use roasting use roasting by using this, we get oxide of metal. Oxide of metal. By these metals, we can, this means, uh, in case of oxide of metals, by using carbon, by using carbon, we get pure metals. We get 
pure metals. I am coming to these metals of low retentivity, sorry, low reactivity. Low reactivity, they are free in form. They are almost free in form. For this purification, we use roasting, we use roasting and refining. Refining. After this, we get pure metals okay this is the steps involved in extraction of metals from their ores okay